All right, welcome back to Good Day on this election day. So when you head to the polls today, there will be three issues that you will have to decide on. And one of those issues is casinos, and that would bring four casinos to the state of Arkansas. And we talked earlier with our analysts, Reed Brewer and John Burris, uh, talking about those races, all three of the ones that are still on the ballot. They think they'll all pass. The closest one is that casino race. Yes. You know, of Alex Gray here representing uh, the, the, the drive Arkansas forward, representing them. And obviously that's the, the committee basically trying to push into these casinos in Arkansas and get this ballot on the uh, get this issue on the ballot uh, here we are in the last day here and polling's probably slightly in the favor of those casinos uh, it's someone's they're sitting home this morning and they're still undecided on this uh, representing the firm what do you say to this morning well I think this is uh, what we have is a fair merit-based casino proposal uh, that there is local control so these these counties in, in Jefferson County and Pope County there will not be a casino in those counties unless requested by the county judge and the mayor so we wanted to make sure that the local people could have a say in whether or not they have a casino mm -hmm. and these casinos too um, you know, we already have two in the state that will be converted to casinos at Oakland and Southland, and then there would be the two new casinos. So it would be four total casinos, and uh, the University of Arkansas Little Rock has done an economic uh, study. They have an economic institute, and they determined that there would be 6,000 new jobs created as a result of this, uh, $5.8 billion economic impact over the next 10 years. So this is just a huge opportunity for Arkansans to be able to vote uh, for the first time in, in a long time on whether or not they want uh, casino gaming in the state. Let me ask you something. Uh, people sitting home this morning, like, if they're still on the side or maybe they're voting against it, they say, wait a minute, I thought Oakland already had a casino on Southland did too. Mm -hmm. How's this make them a casino when they think they already are? Well, Oakland and Southland, they have electronic games of skill. So it's it's similar to a casino, uh, but it's not, you know, you don't have the real dice, the real chips, the real uh, tables. And so what this would, would provide would be that if you go to Tunica or you go to Shreveport, uh, you'd be able to do the, you know, the type of casino gaming that they offer at those facilities. And this also makes uh, Oakland Southland uh, to where they can compete with Mississippi and Louisiana. We're losing, I think the Mississippi Gaming Commission has on their website that there's 1,149,000 Arkansas visits to Mississippi casinos in the last 12 months. So if you think people spend about $100 on average for lodging, food, gas. I don't want to do all that. Yeah. That's a lot of math. <laughs> it's over $100 million. I'm not very good at math, but I know yeah. that, that it's a lot of money we're losing. So this is just an opportunity to let's keep the money in state let's uh you know create jobs mm -hmm. let's uh, grow our economy well real quick the other side they say that you know this could also worsen the poverty what would you say to people who believe that you know the studies and what we've seen in o at, at oakland and southland and those communities they just don't bear that uh what impoverished people need are jobs and so this is going to create six thousand jobs uh for people that you know are, are in poverty or below the poverty line so this is an economic opportunity to really raise up the communities and the regions where these casinos are going to be based. And again, these are not going to be your roadside casinos. These are going to be resort casinos. Uh, and the numbers I've seen are $250, $300 million private investment in these facilities. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us.